Thank you, Mr. Searle. The Government of Canada has generously donated this fully equipped laboratory to CAFA and has taken the responsibility of training all of the relevant CAFA personnel. For this, we at CAFA express our deepest um, appreciation and our sincere gratitude. I'm therefore pleased to invite His Excellency, Jared Latulipe, to address you. Good morning, everybody. Senator the Honorable Dr. Fouad Khan, Minister of Health, Dr. James Ospedalis, Executive Director of CARFA, Jeff Searle, Senior Vice President at Gem Free Mobile Laboratories, Dr. Idadis Jibre, Advisor, Family Health and Disease Management at Bayo, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here this morning and to have the opportunity to officially hand over, on behalf of the Government of Canada, this new biological containment laboratory to the Can Caribbean Public Health Agency, as well as to announce the provision of biological sample container kits through the Pan American Health Organization. The Canadian contribution is 2.5 billion for the BioLab and 950,000 for the biological samples, container kits. The laboratory known as uh, Biological Safety Level 3 facilities will strengthen CARFAS capacity to detect, diagnose, and respond to infectious disease outbreaks across the region. Whether they be naturally occurring or deliberately caused, the result will be enhanced health and safety in the Caribbean, Canada, and beyond. In our modern age, where global tra travel is routine and disease knows no boundaries, a well-equipped, safe, and secure biological laboratory is an essential tool in the fight against infectious, infectious disease. As underscored by ongoing outbreak of disease, such as the chikungunya here in the Caribbean, as well as Ebola in West Africa, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome in the Middle East, isolated disease threat can very quickly become regional or global menace, presenting serious threat to the health, safety, and security of the people of the world. Strengthening health security is a critical, important, complex issue that requires concerted effort around the world and across many sectors. No country can ensure its own health and security through national measures alone. In this context, the Government of Canada is very pleased to further strengthen our long-standing mutual beneficial partnership with the Caribbean and the 25 nations and territory of CARFA. The laboratory is the result of more than two years of sustained and effective cooperation and collaboration between the Government of Canada, CARFA, and the Pan American Health Organization. It is set up to process and rapidly identify in a safe and secure environment samples suspected for a diverse range of disease, including yellow fever, West Nile virus, rabies, hantavirus, anthrax, drug-resistant MTB, and emerging infectious disease with epidemic potential. The facility also provides advanced primary and secondary containment system required to handle other biological risk agent and material of unknown origin, including potential bioterrorism I agent. No less important than what the new laboratory <coughs> will do is what it will not do. Specific specifically, it will not increase the risk posed by infectious disease that are the subject of analysis here at CARFA, and it will not result 
in the introduction of a new biological agent to the region. Quite the contrary, it would help to mitigate both these threats. Let me assure you that this facility, which was designed and manufactured by Gemfree, a U.S. company that has an extensive experience providing similar biocontainment facilities ar around the world, was built in strict accordance with international standards to ensure the safety and security of CARFA personnel, the local population, and the environment. BSL B BSL-3 laboratory like CARFA operates are, we can see that in, in the, all the major country, cities in the world. And in Canada, there are some in Ottawa, in Toronto, and Winnipeg. If the design of the laboratory was innovative, so too was the effective partnership forged between the health and security sector for this project. Funding the facility was provided by Canada Global Partnership Program, an international security initiative with a mandate to prevent terrorist or state acquisition and use of biological and other weapons of mass destruction. The Global Partnership Program also implemented the project through PEO for the provision of IATA certified biological samples container kits to 32 countries of the Caribbean and Central America. This will allow disease samples collected in the region to be safely shipped to the new bio lab or another appropriate regional lab for confirmatory diagnostic testing. So why would the Global Partnership Program of Funds of Canada, why this fund should fund the construction of a new public health laboratory in the Caribbean. Sadly, we know that terrorists and other criminal groups remain committed to acquiring biological and other weapon or material of mass destruction in order to launch devastating attacks. No country or region, irrespective of its size or location, is immune to this challenge. In this context, a strong global partnership is required at the health security interface, that broad area that exists between natural and deliberate disease, where the interests and activities of two different, very different sectors intersect and align. Such multi-sectorial cooperation is rooted in the mutual recognition that though the motivation may be very different, Combating natural disease versus preventing or detecting deliberate biological attacks, the tools, the infrastructure, capacities required to accomplish both health and security objective in the same. The laboratory being handed over to CARFA today underscores the value of this multi-sectorial cooperation. In conclusion, we are confident that it will help to make the Caribbean, our hemisphere, and our world a safer, healthier, and more secure place. Thank you very much. <laughs>